the You Can't Be Serious Cup is next. It's a 0 to 80 two mile one furlong handicap. If there was a day for a race for day three, this is surely it. Lieutenant at the top for Leon Van Rensburg, Strawberry Mist and Boulders Brass, Paul Parsons, Daneside Quarter, James Shea, Piper Niven, Matt Cooper, Santa Brody, James Shea, Star Deli, Alex Cherry and Fondant Fancy for Matt Cooper. Uh, away they go in. These are the horses that weren't even fast enough to qualify for the All-Weather Championship Finals. And it's Boulders Brass and uh, Strawberry Mist who are going to dispute the lead. And got Fondant Fancy and Piper Niven. And downside quarter. Lieutenant the old lady Star Deli. Maybe her last hoorah this weekend next week. I should be back next season as a 27 year old or whatever she is. And it's Fond of Fancy and Boulders Brass. No dispute in the lead from Piper Niven third. And Strawberry Mist and Star Deli. Lieutenant is after that one. Santa Brody and finally Dane Side Quarter. So serious, not got a horse in his own race. You can't be serious, Cup. Play on the old serious name there as well, because John McEnroe, I think, wasn't it? You can't be serious. So, it was probably Gray would come with that. I think he's a bit of a tennis fan, Gray, on the court. I think I remember years ago, he had quite a few horses that got names that were to do with tennis. Anyway, Boulder's Brass is in the lead. Delhi is second, and Strawberry Mist is third, Piper Niven, and Lieutenant Fond of Fancy and Daneside Quarter. There's Santa Brody at the back, but the Grey Boulders Brass is clear by a good three lengths to Star Delhi. Strawberry Mist. Leon Van Rensburg managed to get a horse into a 0 to 85 handicap. It must be one of his lesser lights. Or his, his, his lessest light. Or least light. Whatever the proper term out is. Certainly isn't a word called less, lessest, is the. Uh, it's certainly not a stable star. Uh, what's he called? What's he stable? Oh, Swampland or Swartland? I can't remember. I see it on Tom. Anyway, it's probably one of his. Not quite so good ones. I expect it to hack up in this, really, even though it's got top weight. And it probably will do. We've got five furlongs to go. It seems to be travelling well enough at the moment. But Boulder's Brass is still clear of a Strawberry Mist and Star Deli. And Piper Niven and Lieutenant. Fond of Fancy Santa Brody and Dane Side Quarter. That's the four pole they go. And Boulder's Brass. Still clear, the old lady Stardelli was second, but she's now been taken on by Strawberry Miss and Santa Brody up the centre of the track. The James Shea horses are now coming with the usual James Shea rattle at the end, and Lieutenant's not picking up at all. And Boulder's Brass is still clear at the moment, so Boulder's Brass is still too clear with two furlongs to go. Dane side quarter and Santa Brody are closing. And it's still the grey boulders brass in front there with a furlong and a half to go. Now Santa Brody and downside quarter are getting closer. It's going to be one of these three that takes it. The grey boulders brass is still in front. Santa Brody is not actually wearing him down that quickly. Boulders brass is hanging on inside the final half furlong. Santa Brody's not making any impression. And boulders brass is going to take it for Paul Parts and Santa Brody second downside quarter. Strawberry with Star Deli. Bitterly disappointing Lieutenant. And then Fondant Fancy and Piper Niven. And Boulders Brass, another winner for Paul Parsons. What a great first season he is having. Uh, Santa Brody second for James Shea, was also third with Dane Side Quarter. Strawberry Mist for Paul Parsons was fourth, and Old Star Deli for Alex Cherry was fifth. <laughs>